what is movement all about? How do we control our limb movements, our posture? Or how does the brain control our body? These questions have fascinated me over the years, sometimes even haunted me. Inspired by my passion for dance, my early research started with the question, how do we control rhythmic movements? How do we synchronize our limbs to form a coherent rhythmic coordination pattern? How do we synchronize with music? And how do we learn motor skills to even approach such exquisite skill as these dancers have? Over the years, my research program has expanded from these very basic questions to also address applied questions such as how do we relearn and recover skills that might have been lost, as for example, due to neurological injury as seen in stroke. When I speak to people about movement, I often encounter puzzled faces. We can move, right? Only when you start to talk about uh, impairments in patients, such as in stroke patients, and the fact that we still not know where these impairments come from and how we can help them, then the depth of the problem becomes apparent. In addition to these clinical applications, my research has another increasingly important connection towards robotics. While the capabilities of robots have improved vastly over the recent years, there's still a lot to be learned about what it takes to control a multi-link system to get close to what humans can do. So one potential contribution that my work can make is to share some of the insights that we have gained on human motor control to robotic control. In addition, there is another set of challenges that need to be overcome such that humans and robots can safely and successfully work together side by side and hand in hand. In this project on human control of balance, we invited ballet dancers as they probably are the most expertised humans in maintaining balance. We examined their balance ability by measuring their joint motions, their ground reaction forces, their muscle activity and the forces that they exert with each other to maintain balance together. We asked ballet dancers to stand on a narrow beam and the beam is placed on a force plate which measures the projection of the center of mass onto the base of support. We also measured the limb motions and for that, we have motion capture cameras in the lab. We attach small reflective markers to landmarks on the hand, the head, and the whole body. The XYZ positions of these markers are picked up by the motion cameras. And then in post-processing, we can determine the joint angular movements of the dancers. This project takes me back to my early fascination and passion for dance and exercise. In fact, in the 1980s, I got heavily involved in aerobics and stretching. When you observe the ballet dancers and you see the flow of their movements, the smoothness and the elegance, this is simply mesmerizing. From a scientific perspective, we still have not understood what in control of movement makes them so aesthetic, so captivating. And in fact, this was one of my early questions that I had that got me to where I am now, and I still haven't answered that question. So I think I have a long way to go. Dagmar Sternert, and this is my narrative.